are you, Sarah? I'm good. How are you? You look so good. Thank you. Thank you. How <laughs> have you been? I've been amazing. Really good. Um, yeah. I've just, so much has happened. I, I'm so glad you're doing this because I wanted to tell you all about it. And okay. Um, so we had our session about six months ago, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so just to catch up, tell me the reason that you came for the session. Okay. That's number one, okay? okay? So what were you looking for in a session when you came to me? Well, honestly, even though I've had so many great sessions, because I'm a hypnotherapist, mm -hmm. so many have been amazing. I saw somebody straighten their spine in my office. I saw, I had a client um, heal herself from cancer, stage three ovarian cancer, even though... I've seen many amazing things. Uh, I had like two really terrible sessions and all I f would focus on were those bad sessions. Yeah. Not the great, wonderful sessions, but the bad sessions. So mm -hmm. I saw your video and you know, your sessions just looked amazing. And honestly, part of me wanted to see what you were doing, you know, what your induction was, mm -hmm. how you did the session. Yeah. And then the other part of me saw how you were helping all these people. And I figured I probably could use, you know, some help. Mm -hmm. It was like a combination of the both. Yeah, but you so, were already doing it. Anyway. I was already doing it. And I wanted to see what it was like, what, yeah. you know, all these people feel. Mm -hmm. I could see that they were really getting a lot out of it. And mm -hmm. so that's why I booked the session which I really lucked out. <laughs> <laughs> so um, was there a reason, you know, that you want, what was the target of the, of the session? Do you remember what you were targeting? Well, I really why. wanted to find out why I had done some work on myself and I mm -hmm. wanted to find out why I had, I, keep, I kept having a lot of um, problems with this one past life that I had gone to before. Mm -hmm. The one where I was tortured and um, the one where I saw myself outside of the body. And I, I wanted to find out why that was bothering me because when I would go back to that lifetime, I never really got to, ex I never really got to see what it was all about. Mm -hmm. I would just get a glimpse of it and that was it. But I knew it was, I knew that there was something going on with this lifetime that was affecting me. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of it's really weird. Maybe not for you, <laughs> but, um, like most of my life I had this, uh, it's really weird, like feeling of being, um, a phobia of being castrated. Now, obviously I can't be like, I'm a woman. So, I mean, I knew it had something to do with a previous lifetime yeah. and it was that lifetime. And it, when I was in the session with you, mm -hmm. not, not that moment, but I realized that what I was shown was that I was completely okay. I didn't suffer. And I thought that I really needed to see that because I had already left my body yeah. and I was watching myself mm -hmm. and it looked like I was still alive, but I, my soul had actually left my body. And yeah. I think I really, really needed to see that. Do you, do you find that that could be a lot of the causes that uh, people have these these fears sometimes that yeah. they haven't gotten over that trauma? Yes, definitely. A mm -hmm. lot of times. Mm -hmm. A lot of times. Definitely. Yeah. And when we started off, you said that you, you wanted to come here to uh, find out how I did things, my induction yeah. and things like that. And I think I tried a different induction on you, which kind of startled you anyway. Well, it was so brilliant. It was fantastic. And, and, and unfortunately, I don't remember any of it. So, I mean, <laughs> like the beginning, I know what style you use, but it was yeah. brilliant. And I feel really lucky that I got to experience, you know, you because you're so fantastic. Oh, and you've you. changed my life in so many ways. So I just feel incredible. Yeah. Great. So what happened afterwards? That's what's really <laughs> interesting because now I want to get to the meat you know. of it. And you left here. How did you feel afterwards? Well, honestly, I barely remember. I was just buzzing. I was so under hypnosis. I mean, I... It took me a while to really like 
<laughs> come back. <laughs> and um, I, so I got home that night back to the Keys and I thought, I'm just going to watch it. And I didn't, I hadn't, re, I didn't remember it. So I didn't really know what I said or mm. anything like that. And you said I said I was an angel named Seraphin. And I thought, oh, I never heard of that name before. And I thought, that's like the craziest name. That's like Sarah, like Sarah Finn, like as if I added a Finn, you know? I thought, it's just a really weird name. And I watched like a couple minutes in mm -hmm. and I just started criticizing myself so badly. Like, oh my gosh, I look so badly like this. And oh my gosh. We don't, um, we don't see that part of ourselves <laughs> very often. I know. And um, and I was like a father at 12. I, I had to turn it off. And that's why I contacted you and said, I don't think I can share this. I'll get back to you. Yeah. So the next day, I, I made myself watch it. And it was so crazy because I went right into hypnosis. No induction, nothing. It was like I was so suggestible by your voice, <laughs> by your amazing voice, that I went like – maybe a theta state. I mean, I, um, so I got to experience it and I could remember it and then I could, um, see what was going on. And when I went into the lifetime it was so interesting to me, it was multiple lifetimes. It wasn't just one. I was seeing many going forward wow. and I could see the same pattern in my own life right now because I kept taking everybody's pain, which was the biggest thing that they wanted to show me. Yeah. I I just absorb everybody's pain. Yeah. I'm in a grocery store and somebody's having a bad day. I it's like it it's, I can't I can't really explain it. Mm -hmm. I it's like Gee! I take it, you know, yeah. and um, and I didn't realize what I was doing at all and how it was affecting me. And also from the session with you I got the feeling that by doing that, I was hindering their growth, their soul's growth, which was so interesting to me and changed my life wow. learning that because yeah. now I understand that if I take somebody's pain, I'm hindering their growth. So I need to leave their pain to themselves and yeah. focus on myself. That's their journey. That's their journey. Yeah. And I've been told that in many of my sessions is that even though we want to help other people because, you know, we, we don't like to see them suffer, our sons, our daughters, our spouses, our parents, yeah. but this is part of their growth, their soul's growth. They have to work yes. themselves through it. It's almost like having, um, taking somebody's test for them. Yes, you know? it's exactly. Just like that. And it doesn't, it doesn't help them. Yeah. So wow. really, big. Running. it was That's big for me, very yeah. life changing because I've started to see how I do that in my own life. So that's why this kind of thing is amazing, you know, and so, so helpful. Did really? that help you in your career also? Yeah. In how, you, how you deal with your clients? Because I have that with nurses. Yeah. A lot of nurses come to me and they're like, oh, they're in so much pain. And because all of their, their, the patients that they deal with, they, they, they throw all that on top. So how do you yeah. deal with that now? Yeah, I feel really different. I make a point, I know it sounds a little bad, but I make a point of make, making sure if I took any, I check myself and then I re return it in a nice way back <laughs> because I'm such an empath. I, yeah. <laughs> so I um, just yeah. make sure I don't do that. And I, I release myself from the responsibility of taking care of others. I mean, of taking their pain. Do you have a certain prayer or intention that you do specifically for, for this that you would want to share? Well, okay. I mean, this is just what I've come up with. It's not really... doesn't matter. It's what you do. ...that much of a prayer, but I just check myself every night because... Yeah. I'll pick up stuff from the grocery store. I'll pick up stuff like um, walking down my street. Yeah. It's, it's really wild to me how this happens. But uh, just before I go to bed, I check myself. And I might have sadness like in my heart. And I'll have to yeah. check, zoom in on the sadness to be like, is this mine? Mm. So I check to see if it's mine. 
If it's mine, I'll work through it. But if it's not, which is often the case, weirdly enough, mm -hmm. then I return it. Good. I return it to sender. I like send it back out. And that has changed my life, honestly. So this what has changed? What, what, what changes have you noticed? Oh my gosh. I mean, <laughs> it's just wild. Um, well, you know what the weirdest thing is? Is that I thought I had like a hernia in my belly button mm -hmm. because I love doing kickboxing. And when I move a certain way, I'd have this weird, really weird pain. Mm. And, um, after you remove that entity, it's completely gone. Wow. It's actually, there was like, it felt like a little hard there before. Like there was like a knot there and it's completely gone. And I've noticed a huge change from having that removal, which is, is wow. wild. Like I felt like, okay, this is another really weird thing that you helped me so much. I'm just so grateful for you. But um, <laughs> I'm excited just listening to it. Before before our session, it would take me a while to put myself under hypnosis. I would maybe do some fractionation or mm -hmm. like um, the element induction or make myself a recording and it would take me a while. So I was worried that you wouldn't be able to do it, <laughs> which <laughs> wasn't, wasn't at all. I know, be careful. Don't, don't put me under right now. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but now... I have this connection and I'm free of that entity, which maybe was the cause. I'm not sure. It could but be. I can literally lay down and go into hypnosis or deep meditation mm -hmm. whenever I want to, which is like, That's just great. helped me in my life because if I want some, if I need to, you know, calm myself down or hypnotize myself or something, I don't need to. I don't need to do anything. I'm more connected. Do it by yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so much more connected and I wasn't like that before. So that's uh, a that's huge fabulous. Thing. That's <laughs> fabulous. Wow. Yeah. What other things have you discovered that are different? Well, um, my office no longer has a tarp on it, which is <laughs> <laughs> really Really good. I had no idea that I was doing these things. Mm -hmm. I, I just, it was the awareness of it all was so um, eye opening and life changing. It's yeah. just the awareness because if I didn't have, if I didn't have that session with you, mm -hmm. I wonder what my life would be like, honestly. Like I would have still been going through this motion of doing all these things. And it would have been normal for you. I mean, a lot of people. Yeah don't realize that you do come to a session at the right time. Yeah, that's... You know, if you would have done it before or after, it's, it's, the, it's divine timing. That's it, what I, I think. Everybody tells me the same thing. Had you not moved my appointment, I wouldn't have gone through this, which I needed to work on. Things like that. It is. So I, I'm very trusting in the universe to, to, that things happen exactly when they need to happen. The people come into your life exactly when they need to come and you know sometimes even and i know that you as a hypnotherapist know this too even the people who cannot get into hypnosis at that time there's mm -hmm. a reason for it i know i right? know you can't yeah set yourself up for it there's there's a reason why why something is happening in your life exactly and i know those failed sessions were important for me as well. You know, I needed that. I yeah. need, I know it's all divine timing. I have to yeah. tell you something about the divine timing too. Just uh -huh. the coincidences become funny almost. So our session was on a Saturday yeah. and Sunday, my friend um, owns this Chris or used to own this crystal cottage in Big Pine Key. Mm -hmm. Her name was Deborah. So she was selling off all her crystals and wow. I wanted to go get the palm stones that you had because I felt like it really amplified mm -hmm. um, everything in the session. I felt like the, I could feel the it. The selenite. The selenite, yeah. Selenite, yes. In fact, I slept with a big, huge selenite bar last night because I was a little shaky. <laughs> but oh, yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> that's fantastic. Yeah. So I went there and she didn't have any labels on her crystals, but I bought the um, selenite. Yes. Stones. And then I saw this necklace and I just went up to it. It's, this is um, before 
I, um, I did um, before I went through the whole session with you. Mm -hmm. So I found this necklace. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to see. Uh-huh. Is that Labradorite? No. So there's no label on it. And I mm -hmm. bought it and she gave me the label afterwards. And I went home and looked at it. It's seraphinite. Oh my <laughs> God. Is that amazing? Yeah. Wow. No, no label, nothing. Wow. I didn't know that. And it was just like, okay. Wow. Like, okay. The coincidences are funny. Like, okay. I, maybe I should listen, you know? That's <laughs> funny. That so, is amazing. Yeah. It is. Wow. Wow. Yeah. The day after, too, was really funny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they, they just don't stop. I, I, you know, this kind of work to me is when I hear these stories, because I never hear these stories. You know, people leave and I never hear from them again. And, and right. I don't get the story. So when I hear these stories, they're just so amazing. Because my life has been amazing like that, too, when, when things happen and, and you just look, like go, oh, my God, if, if people <laughs> knew the things that happened to me that are yeah. just they're little tiny details. Yeah. But these details just make me laugh and they make me understand yeah. that, you know, we are, we are always guided and, and, and yeah. our, our guides are jokesters and they, <laughs> they like to do things to us to make us laugh. And that happens all the time. But that one is amazing. I mean, it, I just had the, I just had the chills all over. I, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. What are the chances, you know? It's just crazy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I know. So, so, so what else has been happening with you? You've got your office fixed up nice. I have a um, signed contract on a house. Wow. Nice. And I've been, I've been really wanting to tell you about this. My son, mm -hmm. you know, who has ADD mm -hmm. um, or quote unquote ADD, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> has totally changed because of the way I changed towards him, which yeah. was so interesting and life-changing to me. Because once I started mm -hmm. energetically changing how mm -hmm. I interacted with him, instead of kind of um, putting that feeling that he was had a disability and, right. oh, you know, poor guy and this and that, mm -hmm. once I changed that to wow, let me know you for you and yeah. focus positively towards him. Yeah. He changed so much. And this is, this is so crazy. Like he's getting, well, he, school just ended. He's getting straight A's now. He went from like, um, you know, he was doing okay. But now that he feels in himself that he has this ability, he's really proud of it. Yeah. That's, it's amazing. Yeah. You yeah. know, they talk a lot about the ADD. I know that um, uh, Mary Rodwell talks about that, if, if you have yeah. her, her book. Even with the situation with your son, now you understand that when you change yourself, all of your relationships around you oh, change, change, right? Yeah. That's interpersonal hypnotherapy, what we're doing here, is, is you're really, um, you know, Soon I'll be getting my degree on that, but <laughs> don't have the paper yet. But that's really what it is. It's really interpersonal uh, hypnotherapy in which everybody who is connected with you gets affected by how you change. It's that's so true. It is true. Yeah. So you'll and notice that. You'll notice that more in your sessions is that even though you're taking care of your client, everything that touches because we're vibration. Oh, definitely. Right. So, much vibration. so so think of think of a pond and, and this is something analogy that has been used in my session before think of a pond and depending on what frequency is in that pond that pond is gonna is gonna show either waves or or whatever it is so imagine you are sending out this frequency of yourself and everybody around you is being hit by that frequency yeah right so That's you are disturbing the frequency of others or you're calming them. Mm -hmm. So the way that you change yourself affects everybody that you touch. I really like that analogy. Right? It's it's like that's true. Yeah, it's it's like a lighthouse. You know, your beam just goes out there. Your radio your your 
your frequency just goes extends out and uh, you really do change the world. So not only are you helping yourself, but you're helping the others. So for example, people come to me and say, I want to bring my, my daughter. She's having issues. It's like, no, no, no. Let's work on you. Right. Right. Let's exactly. Work on you. Exactly. And, and sometimes miraculously things change at home. You know, things do change at home. Like, you know, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah. It's yeah. So true. When we change, we do change the world. It's true. Mm-hmm. So what else has beha- what else has happened? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. I mean, your house. You're going to get a new house. Getting a new house. Yeah. I. Yeah. I. It. It just wasn't. It's just about for me, like learning to trust. Yeah. Learning to trust um, mm-hmm. in my inner guidance, mm-hmm. and to know when it's not right, and not try yeah. to force things. I know it'll happen when it's supposed yeah. to. Happen. It, it, you have to do it. You have to do it when it's supposed to be. Yeah. That's, that's how it is. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> we want to wind it up, but I want uh, people to know where you are and how they can contact you because you also do hypnotherapy and yeah. uh, tell everybody about, you know, how you do it and how they can contact you. Well, I've got my own style too, but I do also do quantum healing hypnosis, which is a little different than yeah. what you do, but mm-hmm. along the same lines. Um, yeah. I'm in the Keys, the Florida Keys, mm-hmm. and we're totally um, better back after the hurricane. Oh, good. <laughs> I know. Big Pine Key. Mm-hmm. And you can contact me, um, www.theholistichypnotist.com. Great. So is there anything else that you would like to tell anybody about um, what they should encounter or <laughs> expect from a hypnosis session? Well, I mean, I know some people feel like maybe they were making it up because they can remember everything and they just, you know, they have these expectations. But sometimes you do go into a lighter trance, in and out of a lighter, deeper trance. But I feel like if your life changes and everything gets better, then um, why not just do it anyway, you know? Why not just have a little faith? Yeah. And what would you say to people who are afraid of being hypnotized? Well, I mean, hypnosis is such a natural state. I feel like I'm in hypnosis most of the day. (laughs) Every time I take a shower, when I'm driving and I forget where I'm going, when I'm watching TV, um, it's just in in the morning and right before you go to sleep, you're in the hypnagogic state. It's um, right when you wake up that state where you can you have access to everything all the information but as soon as you fully wake up you forget it it's yeah. that state is completely natural and it's so amazingly beneficial to your life mm-hmm. and it just helps your life in every single way every way and um just to let people know can you have more than one hypnosis session of course <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you can have more than one, of course. Yeah, yeah I always tell people, you know, the, the, especially the folks who are trying to get sessions with me and they, they want to just have a session with me. It's like, you know, the more you're hypnotized, and we talked about this at the beginning, the more you're hypnotized, the more your, your mind understands what hypnosis actually is. Yes. So you may not have gotten a really great experience with somebody, but mm-hmm. that doesn't mean that that's going to be the same experience all the time. Right, exactly. So yeah. go out there and try it. There's a lot of people who are doing, um, they're doing trial uh, sessions when they first get certified or get trained. They're yes. doing uh, for free or for very minimal cost. I would say just do it because all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. That's what it is. You know? exactly. we, we're not putting you into hypnosis. You are. Right. So when you learn what it's like to be in that state, then it's so much easier. And that's yes. what happened to you, right? Yes, that's what happened to me. Exactly. Yeah. Great. Okay, well, Sarah, it's been great speaking with you. I really enjoyed this quite a bit, and uh, I'm so glad things change for you. you thank know? you so much. Thank you so much. I'm okay. so grateful, and thank you for all the work you're doing. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being there also. <laughs> so I hope we get to see each other again soon, okay? You never know what weird coincidence. Yeah, yeah. Work for us, you know. Know? There's something going on in the Keys, and, and uh, I'll make my way down there. It's such a beautiful yeah, come place. Stop by. Yeah, I will. Okay, so big hug.
Bye-bye.